Hey everyone, welcome to The Daily. Today is Monday, June 27th. I'm Greg Lawless alongside Simon Borg. And Simon, the weekend has come to a close, but everybody had their climbing gear out because a bunch of teams rising in the conferences. And we're going to start in the Eastern Conference. Sunday night, the Columbus crew putting on a shellacking against uh, a, a 10-man Colorado team that got some players back but couldn't put it together. And the positive news for Columbus is that Andres El Condor Mendoza is scoring goals and he's nearing the top of the goal scoring charts in MLS. Now, they're taking advantage of errors by the opponents, in this case, Colorado with two huge defensive mistakes, but that they can get him going along with the talent that they have in midfield, great skill. I think Columbus, I've been saying this all along, there will, they will be a team to be reckoned with. Reckoned with or actually contending for the Eastern Conference? Contending for the Eastern title. Well, this win over Colorado puts them into third place in the Eastern Conference. They're still behind New York, who got a draw on Sunday, and the Philadelphia Union, who jumped into first place. But they're even on points with the Red Bulls, and they're just two points behind the Philadelphia Union. Few people would have said the crew would be in that spot right now. And what about the Union? What do you see from them after this weekend? Uh, Peter Novak said it. He has found a team, finally. Mm -hmm. This insertion of Paunovic, which has come out of nowhere a little bit, but he's now fit into the team, got a goal, and Danny Mwanga coming off the bench to get another goal, the winner in this case, uh, over the weekend, 3-2 against Chivas USA. Great win for Philadelphia. I think they feel like they have it going. Uh, on the other hand, New York Red Bulls falling off the pace. One win in their last 10. They couldn't do better than a 1-1 draw in Chicago after their 4-2 defeat in Seattle. It's not looking that good for New York. They really need a, a result to give them a spark. Yeah, and Joel Impair from the New York Red Bulls who scored the goal against Chicago coming out and actually saying it's not fun right now for the, for all the Red Bulls. Now, let's move out to the Western Conference. You mentioned the Seattle Sounders with that win against New York. They also got a win on Sunday, 2-1 to one against the New England Revolution after going down a goal after just three minutes. And this was impressive in that Mauro Rosales really has taken this team on his shoulders. Whereas maybe in other seasons we're used to seeing Seattle maybe, you know, put their heads down and the shoulders drop after going down a goal early. They kept pounding away uh, and he was the catalyst for it. Uh, they finally got the goal, unexpected from Tyson Wall, on that free kick. Uh, but a, a deserved victory for Seattle. New England still feeling they can do more in the results category. Well, the Sounders are really picking it up lately. Even though they're missing some players, it doesn't seem to matter. They're starting to really click going offensively. And if you haven't watched the Tyson Wall uh, free kick goal, make sure you go on to MLSsoccer.com and check that out. Now, Simon Seattle are four points behind the Galaxy for the lead in the Western Conference. And the Galaxy are coming off that incredible draw up in San Jose in the California Classico where Mike McGee ends up in the goal for more than a half. Yeah, Mike McGee coming in for Josh Saunders, who was the backup, who in turn came in for Donovan Ricketts, who was injured during the game. We're going to find out later today how serious that injury is to Ricketts. Saunders is going to be suspended for the upcoming game, but they have a goalkeeper back home in Los Angeles, Brian Perk, their third stringer. He'll be part of that next game against Seattle. What we'll need to see is who they end up getting as a backup. You imagine they go to the goalkeeper pool of MLS goalkeepers. Yeah, when Speaking about that game on July 4th, it's the LA Galaxy and the Seattle Sounders. Sort of a, a top of the table clash, if you will. That should be a great one. Well, a little bit later on today at about 1.35, the Colorado Rapids will be visiting the White House. As champions of MLS, they get their visit with the president. You can actually catch a live stream of that here on MLSsoccer.com. Be sure to check that out. And also later on today, we'll be talking about the U.S. national team and their collapse against Mexico and some of the other things going on in MLS on Extra Time Radio. Be sure you get that on iTunes and Buzzsprout. That's it for the Daily Today. We'll talk to you tomorrow.